what you see before you is what a normal person would see if they were using the Macintosh. I can't see this. I can see that there's a window in front of me. I can tell that it's a spreadsheet, um, given that I can see dots. That is, those I can see dots, and those dots are the letters of the cells. How do I know that? That's how. I zoom in and I take a look and I can see A, B, C, but I can't see that from here. In order for me to see that from this, from the regular size, I have to get up this close. Okay. This is not an uncommon problem for many people with low vision, um, or you know, in the case of total blindness, they wouldn't be able to see it at all. And that's where something like this can come in: optical character recognition. It basically takes what you see in print, you just put it onto a scanner, the scanner goes through, converts everything to digital, and with the, pro with the appropriate software, it can be read back to you. Now there's one package on the Macintosh that is mainstream and works with voiceover out of the box, but I'm not familiar with something like that on Windows. The only thing I'm familiar with on Windows is Open Book from Freedom Scientific, and I've heard that their, um, their OCR engine is uh, <laughs> you. Um, so we got three solutions here. Uh, optical character recognition with a notebook PC, the Intel reader and the KNFB reader. These last two here we're going to compare side by side at the request of JLS1114. Be aware that I got as much information as I felt I could. Um, there might be some things that I'm not familiar with, particularly with the KNFB reader. I've been doing extensive research on the Intel reader because I'm looking at it as a possibility, that's the key word there, possibility, for myself. It's not a surefire, you know, be-all, end-all for anyone. Um, just try it and see what you think. But somebody made a comment in one of my videos that a magnifier use, a, mag a CCTV after extended use, can get fatiguing. And I was thinking about that, and, and depending on what you're reading, I can see their points. So I'm thinking about OCR um, as a, instead. Now, let me, let me, um, we'll get to the solutions in a moment. Uh, I just wanted to say that with OCR, um, with software like OpenBook, with the Intel Reader, and with the KNFB Reader, these things, they all, all three of them have something in common. They scan material, and they show it, and it shows up in nice, large print, high contrast print, and it reads it back to you at the same time with electronic speech. The idea being that those of us with print disabilities, such as dyslexia, low vision, or blindness, can take in the material a lot easier than, than, um, than you know having to obtain the book in a specialized format we can just take the book scan it or in the case of the intel and KNFB readers just take its picture take a picture of it then the software will convert it and it'll read it back to us so it's very very nice and for those of us with low vision we can follow along with nice large high contrast white on black print white print on black background it's, it's just it's just fantastic so um pc uh, one and a half to three hour life batteries, um, battery life estimated. I apologize for stumbling over my speech. I'm really trying my hardest to get this done quick because the last several tries went over the time limit. Um, so three to six pounds estimated weight, solution components, PC, scanner, and software. Um, instant scan, no. Scans books, no. Um, it could be done, but it would be a bit of a chore, so I decided to say no. PDF support, yes, because that's excuse me, that's an obvious for PCs, 120 to 500 gigs of hard drive space depending on your PC. Price depends. Excuse me, you have software, PC, and scanner, and in some cases maybe even a braille display, um, depending on your solution. The Intel Reader. Over four hours of battery life, one and a half to four pounds, depending on when you're, whether you get the capture station. Now, go to a video in my favorites called or in my uh, in my videos that I've uploaded called Intel meets adaptive technology the Intel reader you will you'll see my take on it and you will see some links in the description to other videos that talk more about it um, so the Intel reader and the Intel capture station you can get them separate or as or together um, instantaneous scan because it does a does a picture of a book and with the capture station you put it in the capture station you can take two pages at once so it's very nice. You can even do it upside down. Uh, you could put in a book upside down, it'll still take it, turn it right side up. Um, yes, it can scan books. Again, capture stations for that. Or you could do it yourself. 
uh, by holding it over the book and taking its picture. You can even take a picture of signs with this thing, but that's for another video. Um, um, no PDF support, 2 gigabyte SSD storage, solid state disk. Uh, that is that runs about uh, 500,000 pages. So the total solution, if you were to get both the capture station and the um, and the reader, would be $1,900, $1,500 $1, for the reader by itself. And obviously, you'd have to have the reader to use the capture station. But it's 400 for the capture station. KNFB reader, very similar to the Intel reader. Battery life depends because it's a cell phone. Uh, half a pound. The Nokia N82 is the only cell phone that supports it at this point because of the camera. The key distinction between these two devices um, is that the N82 supports and the KNFB reader software supports PDFs. The Nokia, the Intel reader does not. Uh, memory is going to depend on micro SD storage, so you can expand it if you want. Uh, there, it's available in different bundles ranging from $1,000 to $2,500. The advantage of the Intel Reader is that with the capture station, you don't have to worry about tiring your arms out as you're scanning several pages. Uh, that's not the case with the uh, KNFB Reader. You'd have to hold it over the page with your arm, and I can see that becoming tiring after a while. But on the plus side, the N82 does does um, the KNFB Reader does allow for expandable memory and it, and allows for PDF support. Um, the the Intel Reader does allow for expandable memory. You'll just have to plug in a thumb drive or a hard drive. So actually, it does allow for expandable memory. Um, it's just that internally, you'll have about 2 gigs. And I don't know what you have internally with the N82. But really, the only two p differences that I can see are arm fatigue with the KNFB Reader and um, PDF support, and lack of PDF support and um, the capture station, the advantage of the capture station with the Intel reader. And, you know, some people may even prefer the optical character recognition with a PC. It all depends on what you'd like to have. Um, I, like I said, I'm looking at this for myself. We'll see what happens. If I do decide on it, I think I'm going to go with the Intel reader. Um, but that's pretty much it. So uh, that's the differences between the Intel reader and the uh, Init and the uh, KNFB reader as well as a look at uh, various solutions available. Um, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.